Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, yesterday we talked about these plows and I talked a little bit about the tripper. What we're going to try to do today is trip them. So uh, when my assistant gets here, what I've done, I've just started them in the ground. They're completely out of adjustment, nothing dry. But what I'm going to do is put my assistant on the tractor and have him ease it up. And as he does with those things loaded, I'm going to try to manually trip them. And we'll look at the uh, tripper mechanism in them a little closer. So, uh, Levi, if you'll go ahead and get on the tractor, put it in low gear and idle. Hey, look, listen to me. I'll tell you when to pull up, when to stop, okay? So, here we go. So, what we're going to do, and I've got the right size wrench now. I'm going to hook it. Now, I don't know whether you can see that, but there's a there's an ear on that tripper right there. I'm going to hook it and pull it up. All right, so I'm going to pull it up, and he's going to pull forward. All right, that didn't work the way I expected it to. Let's try this one in the middle. If you guys are hang on, I'm going to put you here stationary. we got this one tripped so what we couldn't trip it by hand spin it manually so we uh, put it in the ground pull it forward the grounds wet and you can see that there's just a latch mechanism here that uh, locks in to the tripper it's spring loaded and that's what holds the plow in place you can see now that this spring, this bolt, is a, it's collapsed. The spring holds it back. But uh, right here is the piece that the wrench goes on. It's an inch and a sixteenth. And see, it's tripped. So it, you can't move it now. It's still up. And when the plow comes back, this will go down and latch it back in place. But you can... Uh, and I, what we done, we got a little mud on them because it's muddy. But you can uh, manually trip these things. And you just look. You can see right here, these ain't worn bad at all. See, there's pretty much paint on everything. Uh, everywhere that it goes. And you can see that that tripper's not worn bad at all. Still got the casting ridge in it. And right here, I think, is where it locks on this machine surface. But it, uh, your I'm feeling of it, feel for wire, good sharp edges. That that plow's still in excellent shape, and I'm gonna keep it tight so that it don't uh, don't trip excessively and wear out. But that's how you manually trip them. And like I said, sometimes they'll be stuck. You can pull that tripper, and that plow still won't come loose. It can seize right in here. This shank be seized to your side plates. But that's how you manually trip a Ford 101 spring trip plow. Uh, if they're shear bolts, there'll be a hole right here. Hole right here with a shear bolt in it. And that's what, it'll go through there. And if you hit something solid, it'll break a bolt and let them trip like this. Uh, so that's, uh, other than that, they're the same, uh, pretty much the same. Now, if you go out and buy a set of used Ford plows, and right here, 
that is your frog. Can you look and see how much it's worn? This is your landslide, and that's going to need a landslide. But uh, might as well get. I gotta get these parts in for it. But uh, some of these Fords had different bottoms on them. Some of them used the Oliver Point uh, plowshare uh, versus the Ford. So uh, that's uh, that's something else to keep in mind if you're out looking. But uh, that's that's all there is to that's all there is to tripping them. And then uh, of course when you do trip them, you set them down and back them up. And what I'm gonna try to do here is just snap it in place and I didn't get it so uh, Levi if you'll start it drop them all the way down and slowly back up and their lights back in take to the barn uh, but that's all there is to them now that you can see that setting down in low again and the grease fittings I was talking about are right there there's a couple of grease fittings in there but that's how you manually trip them uh, they uh, you know if you need to check them inspect them work on them whatever that's how you manually trip them now I've got a set of John Deere sitting down here that uh, trippers worn out in and uh, parts for them are so ridiculously expensive that I just uh, these are 14 inch uh, John Deere and on these you just uh, right here's your tripper mechanism you mash down on hit now they've not been used in a couple years there they go see how that tripped now that plow would come apart but uh, they're John Deere's. They're an old set of John Deere's. That tripper right there is wore out. It won't stay latched. So uh, what I'll probably do is drill it and put a uh, sure bolt in it. So if I ever need them. But uh, that's just a little bit about Ford 101 plows. I hope that uh, you find that interesting or neat or educational or whatever. But uh, that's how you manually trip them, inspect them. Of course, if they're sure boat, you just take the boat out and kick them loose. And uh, that's all there is to it. If you like what we're doing, please hit subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll know when we put up a video. And uh, see the video you like, give it a thumbs up. And if you have a comment or question, please do so. Until next time, we'll talk to you guys later.